love bugs is rosalind back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my grown extended beautiful family just thank you for the for the everyday support um sharing the videos giving me a thumbs up you know passing passing you know my information off to other people and allowing them to come see you know my channel i am so gratefully gratefully appreciating that so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light the many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're up tell me about your impact gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend um please go ahead and share especially if they need validation or confirmation towards their you know their crazy journey and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me. It's so gratefully appreciated. You know, our, our community is growing really fast. And I hope you're able to rec uh, say recognize, resonate, <laughs> resonate through the content of my video. And today, I'm going to find some really good, powerful meditation, y'all. Uh, it's called Higher Realm Meditation, Synchronize Your Energy, Activate Your Higher Mind Self. And I will be posting that in the link below when it has uh, Buddha doing this. So, yeah, y'all y'all know I love Buddha. I love binarial beats. And uh, the Sofigo meditations are my favorite. Um, but today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Heyoka's the benefit of allowing the door of your past closed. Yes, the doors of our past closed. It's just like, you know, why keep rereading the same chapter over and over again? You already know how that part is. You know, you know, it's just like, you, you know you wouldn't want to read a book on, you know, on a certain chapter on repeat. You want to be able to know what's going to go on throughout the, the chapter but you can't cheat You're trying to jump all the way from chapter 5 and go jump to chapter 13 when you know you have to read in between those pages so it's just like seeing all these things that go on in your life and it was like you know I had to really it took yesterday for me to go through some really dark times you know it was just like you know if you have a, a family member that you're really close to and it comes towards their anniversary it's like living that first time they passed away all over again so it was just so traumatizing to me yesterday dark depressing you know it was just too much you know and it was just like I had to really go through that yesterday and I had to allow myself to let go I had to allow myself to cry scream do whatever I needed to do just so I can get that situation out of my system you know get that all that energy out of my system and it's like what what benefits am i holding you know what kind of benefits am i getting holding on to these these sad depressing situations you know what am i benefiting off of that nothing except leaving myself in a nightmare i'm really ready to get up out of you know being able to do that and i really had to look at you know every angle you know how you have to step back and look at your your life in a bigger perspective get the bigger gist of the picture looking at okay you do yourself a favor putting pros and cons pros and cons when it comes to everything that goes on in your life so going through those situations it allows you to see a lot of things that you know that you can benefit off of you know getting that time where you can just surrender everything even though it's might put you through some situations that you never apologize just take that apology you ain't never got and keep moving on because it's just like you know some people just do that because they're hurting themselves you know and they take that out on you you know with us being because we tend to bring that <laughs> ugliness out of people like that so it's just like all those different things you have to be able to understand why people are the way they are you know 
they're still dealing with that generational curse. They're still doing the things that their forefathers, forefathers and forefathers has done. You know, we've been put into this situation dealing with the people we deal with to break that cycle. You know, just to say, you know what, this this family is not going through this anymore. It's going to start with me. It's going to it, it didn't start with me, but it's going to end with me. You know, you you have to be able to look at it that way. You know, because it's just like you you get the signs, you get the synchronicities, you have the visions, you have the dreams of the things that you truly want in life. But if you keep concentrating on how this person did you, um, what this person did to you, what bind did they put you in, what situation they put you in, that that's not leaving room for the things that you you're trying to aim for. If you're so busy concentrating on those things, that door from the past, that other door of future and all the future blessings is about to come open, that door is opening. But if you're so busy looking back at this situation, that door is like, hello, hey, you know, I got all these nice things for you over here, but yet you're still looking at stuff that you cannot change. And I have to keep on telling myself that what is it going to benefit you on holding on to these things that these folks did to you? Even though it's just like I said, I wasn't mad anymore, but my mind, in the back of my mind, I kept constantly thinking about it. Like if I'm in a dark place, you know, yesterday, those things came up on every single thing my family did to me, you know, and it's just like, there I am again. Even though I said, I, you know, forgive them, why am I still thinking about these things? Obviously, I didn't let all of it go. So I had to really do some soul searching yesterday. I had to enlighten myself, use discernment, do all these things. And it was just like I had to go through it to get to it. And I say I deserve to be happy. You know, I deserve to be able to move on with my life and do the things that I truly need to do. By be able to, to embrace my dark side, embrace the, you know, accept the pain, full experience that I went through. And allow myself to know I wasn't going to allow nobody to do that to me again. And knowing, you know, there's so many beautiful things waiting for it, for me, but I just have to be able to, you know, let all that other stuff go. So, you, you know, if you're working towards something, you know, you want something better in your life, better for your benefits for you, you know, your loved ones, your children, whatever your, whatever your goal is or your, your things you're working on, you have to be able to let those situations of the past, you no know, matter how painful it is, just let it go. You know, get, you know, get, be able to just, you know, just get off of that situation. It's like we have too many things that is heading towards our way, but we're standing in our own way just to get those things. You know, you can't blame Paul, Peter, William, Robert. You can't, you can't sit up here and keep blaming them. You know, yeah, they did some things, but, you know, there's things you probably did as well. You know, it's just like I can sit up here. I'm not saying that, you know, you did what you did and you got what you got because of what you did. That's not what I'm saying. It's just the fact is we all have a choice in certain situations. Sometimes we don't, you know, sometimes we don't. But if there's things that you, you weren't really, you know, paying attention to as a child, you know, you really don't understand why things happen. But through adults, you know, I think sometimes it depends on situations. Let me put it that way. You do have a choice on certain things. It's just like mine. I, there are certain things, yes, I did do, you know, with me doing things that that happened. And yes, I did do some things. I can't put everything on my family or whatever. Because, I, you know, I played my part in certain things too. You know, they invited me over the house, whatever. And, you know, even though my dad was there, I was so fixated on the things that they did to me. Not knowing what the heck, you know, why y'all got a surprise for me? You know, you don't surprise nobody. Like, not with a person like me, you don't have surprises. I'm thinking you got to set me up for murder or you trying to kill me or something like that. That's the first thing that went through my head when it made me think about my family. So that was decisions that, I, you know, I caught myself to do, you know. So it, it's just like going all through those things. It's like, okay, you know, you, you said that. I mean, there's... I can't change that, you know, and that was the thing that was aggravating me because I wish I could have went back in time to be able to change that. But since we don't have no time machine and going, you know, pulling a, a what's that boy's name, Michael J. Fox, you know, down a, a back to the future type situation, you know, you can't do that. So it's just like if you want the better things in life, you know, it, it just seems like you have to be able to let go of those things to be able to 
get the benefits that you truly want in life. You, you deserve those situations, but you can't allow yourself to keep going back to that painful situation again. It's like, you know, when you, when you think about that, you have to really look at it this way. If it's not no longer happening and you constantly keep thinking about that same thing, it's like you're putting yourself back in that spot of when it first happened. You're putting yourself back in that situation. Like, why would you want to put energy into that, you know? Because it's just like, you want all these things in life. You're like, why am I not getting it? Why am I still stuck in this situation? Because you're still stuck on the things that hurt you. You know, you have to be able to, to say, you know what? I deserve happiness. I, I mean, this is no place for me. You know, if you want to be out of this situation, you have to learn how to let things go. See it for what it truly is and make peace with it. Make peace with yourself. You know, being able to do all those different things that you truly, you really want to do in life, but you have to be able to let the past go, let allow that door to close, put a padlock on it, put one of those, you know, triple dipple dub <laughs> locks, and not allow yourself to go into that di direction anymore. You know, and I had to really tell myself that because it's like keep thinking about that situation; it is it, it, depressing. You know, not keep on, you know, yeah, there's a lot of things that I missed out on. But if it was meant for me to be connected in that way, it would have happened. So obviously there's something else bigger in the picture that, you know, I just can't put my finger on yet. But all I know is I'm going to keep living for me. You know, keep, you know, putting milestones and setting myself up for, okay, I'm going to go for this goal. So I'm going to be able to, instead of, you know, putting my, my goal right here and then jump over that goal. And then, you know, set another goal for myself. And then, you know, I'm so fixated on, you know, planning my future. I, I don't have time to think about my past. And that's how you really have to look at your life. Like, yeah, these people did something to you. Yes, they put you in a traumatic situation. But you never know. You know, you have to, I have to look at my family like, you know, they're human too. You know, you never know what they went through for them to do that. You know, they ain't normal. Obviously, the parents ain't normal either. They, you know, they did something to you like this. You know, people into toxic relationships, you never knew what these people, you know, this woman or this man, they lived through. You know, they probably seen, you know, if you're a woman and you dated a narcissistic sociopath, you never know. His mom probably got the mess beat out of her in front of him a lot. Or you probably seen her father disrespect the mom a lot. So that's all he knew. A woman, she probably seen her mom get beat up a lot. She probably seen her mom get disrespected a lot. So that's all she knew. You know, so I have to look at that situations like that because I know what my my stepmom, she told me how her her parents are really mean, you know, and they did all these things. My mom told me, my mom, she had held raising up as well. There was 13 of them, you know, so, and then when I knew about my adopted father, his dad was like mean, you know, as soon as he turned 18, he went straight to the military just so he didn't have to deal with that. He hated his dad. And then he ended up doing the same thing to me. Right at right when he had, and I was adopted now. That, that's some bad stuff. I was adopted. So, going through all those crazy situations made me really have to take a big leap back and just look at everything, analyze everything. You know, if you're a Hayoka, you analyze everything. So, it's just like when you're going through these situations and you know you got bigger, better things that you really want in life. You want to have a, a beautiful relationship. Nobody's relationship's perfect, but just the relationship is perfect for you. You have to be able to let go of the painful situations that has put you to where you look at people differently, you trust people differently. You know, you go about your life differently all because of this situation. Yeah, you should be able to be on guard, but I don't mean you need to put all walls up because when a good thing comes to you, you're so busy, you know, worried about the bad things. The good things is, is going to just pass you by. And my mom used to always tell me that you keep fixating on the things you ain't supposed to. Everybody else is going to pass you while you're still sitting there and you ain't going to have nobody to blame but yourself. My mom was right. My mom was truly right about that. Thanks, mom. So you have to go through all those different things and knowing everything happens for a reason. But when your pain, your pain has really got you. You have to understand, you know what? This pain has made me stronger. I've learned things about myself I never thought I would end up learning. I've, you know, I made it. You know, even though you really think you weren't going to make it, if you were still here, there's obviously time you can learn and heal from those things and the benefits that you have. So when you leave those situations alone, 
all those big blessings are going to come in. So you're probably getting little blessings here and there, a little here and there, and you're, you know, you have to make sure you show gratitude to the people up there. So when you can get those benefits and, you know, be, you know, grateful for everything that comes in and out your life, you know, even if it's taken away, obviously it wasn't meant to be there. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Uh, like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know your two cents or your little your opinion. I say your two cents. Your opinion uh, about this video. So I will talk to y'all later. I'm not going to give a post notification shout out because it's already 15 minutes. I've been doing some really long videos today. So uh, I'll give a shout out on the next one. So much love to you. Know you truly bless, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. Much love. Peace. Be wild. Thank you.